Hi everybody, it's Wednesday. Just popped my jumper on. I feel like I haven't had a smoothie in a long time. I've been having a lot of porridge lately because it has been a bit nippy. There's been like a couple of days where it's been nice and warm, but it has been pretty cold. Um, also porridge is like super cheap. And an extra bonus is that you can make it in advance, which helps me because usually in the morning, I can't be bothered. I don't know if a lot of you feel that way. Like in the past, I used to not have breakfast much because just at that time in the morning, it would make me feel a bit sick, I guess, but also I just couldn't be bothered, partly because I would have a really bad sleeping pattern, so I'd go to bed late, wake up late, and not feel like I wanted to eat at all, so I just kind of wait till lunch, basically. But having porridge in the fridge ready to go, I like, but I should keep it covered up. I know a few of you have mentioned that it's a bit gross that I just kind of leave it uncovered, and that's true. I actually put oats in the smoothie, which gets you bonus points for nutrition and double the breakfast. So what are we doing today? What are we doing today? I have, let's get the lighting. There's nothing rude written on this board, is there? Not anymore, I think I've rubbed it off. I have been meaning to install the tushy. If any of you remember what the tushy is, I mentioned it. A few months ago, Maddie got sent it. It's like a, a B-Day, a bum gun that you install yourself. Because we really quite liked them when we went to Asia. Um, and it saves on waste, saves on toilet paper. I just realized today we are down to our last toilet paper. So what better time to install the tushy? The only trouble is, uh, our toilet is kind of enclosed by like a wooden MDF type uh, cabinet. So it's kind of tricky to get to. So I don't know, it looks like the diagram, they send you the box and they send you the diagram of how to install. It looks really easy, but I don't think it's going to be very easy. So I think I'll have to enlist Maddie's help to film while I have a go at it. But I think on their website they have a lot of videos and like troubleshooting tips. So that's good at least because I know I'm going to run into some problems. Once that's set up, I think it'll be incredibly useful. I don't know, just in general, especially now it's getting warmer. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be spraying freezing cold water up my bum in the winter, but <laughs> now it's getting warmer, I think it's fine. It saves a lot of money on toilet paper, I think in the long run, and plastic, because unfortunately all toilet paper has to be wrapped in plastic. Anyway, I'm going for a walk now and I'll get back to you hopefully, with some tushy action later. We've also had a minor candle mishap. Oh, uh, no, no. There we are. It looks like uh, chocolate, white chocolate. That's it looks what really I said nice. when it broke last time. I yeah. Was like, not white chocolate. Basically, this, this guy had a crack in it. I didn't think it would be a problem, but it all, I think it, the heat expanded the crack at the bottom and it just uh, all leaked out. So next time I'll use a proper jar. Look how good this looks. Oh, that wants to eat it so much. Do I really want it now? Go on, actually, for my video, could you actually take a scoop oh out? Oh boy! Just get a fork bowl. Stay there. Go. Yep. Cool. Is it to be eaten now? Yeah! I've got your back. <laughs> We're so hungry. Mm. This is so good. This is for all of you who say how much you love um, watching us eat on camera. Because I know there are lots of you out there. I'm kidding, by the way. So I get so many comments saying, I love your video, but please stop eating. It's gross. Just the act of putting food into your mouth. Mm -hmm. That like, oh, makes me cringe, I have to look away. Like this. Mm. Oh, you can't fit. Wow. No, well, don't be horrible. So Alex wouldn't let me clean this up. He was like, let me eat it. I already got this bit, but the insides are harder. You got so mad at me the other week when I think I made something chocolatey, didn't I? Uh, in a bowl, some brownies, I think, or something. Yeah. And I rinsed it out immediately. You got, you were, ja Alex was genuinely upset. I don't know why you do something like, like that. you look so <laughs> upset with me, and I was like, oh, sorry, you like you're about to cry. Hands I think we need to buy a spatula. Yeah, my hands might need a wash after, but. Alex, you savage. I'm like Winnie the Pooh eating honey. <laughs> right, so <laughs> I have been really silly. How did this even come about? I spoke about this on Instagram, you might have seen me talk about this on Instagram, but I joined my local leisure centre's gym when we moved into, I think I joined in December. I, when I went to join, I walked past another gym called Cheetah's Gym, and it looked like one of those small gyms that just had weights, and I thought, oh, that looks like a CrossFit gym or something a bit more intense, and it doesn't look like it's for me, because I've, for context, I've not been using a gym for years, I've not been regularly to a gym for a very long time because I got into cycling and I used to run with Alex and I also used to enjoy 
um, doing workouts from home. And anytime I've joined a gym, it's been very sporadic. So I really haven't been a gym goer for a while, like a regular one. And um, I was a bit intimidated by the look of it. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna go into the leisure center because I'm sure that the gym in the leisure center will be the main gym locally. And I went and signed up there. I thought also it'd be great to get the classes involved. It ended up costing 54 pounds a month which is a lot of money. That's a lot of money for a gym membership. I remember being a bit like, whoa. But then I thought, well, it's fine because I've got the classes. And then I never really ended up going to the classes. I've been to one spinning class, one Pilates class, and one yoga class. They've all been really great, but I haven't been consistently going to them because I quite like going just to the gym by myself and I've been getting into weightlifting. I've been following a program that I found on bodybuilding.com and it's always something I've been, been interested in doing because I am naturally more i'm quite an athletic person and I, ha I hold muscle and i've always liked the idea of it but never really got into it so i started doing that and it's been really enjoyable but i was noticing the limitations with this gym because it's tiny today i was like oh i'm sure i'm gonna have to look up this other gym because it seemed more like a weightlifting type of gym so i google it and then i find out it's not just a weightlifting gym it's like a gigantic four level gym with an all women's section and it's half the price and I just can't believe I've been so silly as to not bother to research it. Oh, it's so, one of those like kicking yourself moments. That's such a silly Billy. <laughs> the good thing is that I guess that going to this gym has eased me into it because I was a bit intimidated. And this gym I've been going to is always empty. It's mainly just all the people there with me. And a lot of the time there's just barely anyone in there. You might have seen on my Instagram, I've often snap snapped in there where there's nobody, nobody with me. So that's been good. So I've been able to like ease my way into it, learn like my form and kind of understand what I'm doing. And then when I go to this gym, I'll feel a bit more confident because I'm sure this gym will be a lot more busy. It might be a bit more intimidating, who knows? But, um, I just can't believe I didn't realize there was a gigantic four level gym with like, it says it has like every piece of equipment. Like it's, they've got like separate rooms for each different type of training and they have boxing classes. That's another thing I'd love to do. Oh, I'm just so silly. So we're gonna go look at it now because I'm really curious. I can't hold in my curiosity because I really want to see what the gym is like because I've been the the program that I was following. I have had to get kind of creative with it because a lot of the, uh, equipment that they ask you to use they don't have in the gym that I go to and I've been having to do like preacher curls like over the back of a uh, a seat which you would call it a bench I've been having to put the bench up and then kind of awkwardly sit over that oh it's just not been it's not been ideal I don't know I just I'm kicking myself but I'm excited I ate it all yes oh there's more on the thingy we're doing recipes today the if Alex has said or should we yeah I'm good uh, yeah so we're gonna go I'm gonna look at it and we're gonna say, can we have a look around? And I'm gonna go check it out and see if it's any good. And I, I'm really excited. I don't know why it excites me so much, but I, I think it's because I've been really, really enjoying the gym because I used to have such a negative association back in the day when I was going to the gym a lot because I had an eating disorder and I, was, I had such a negative association with the gym and I was only using it for one purpose and that was to lose weight. Whereas now I'm using it to feel powerful and strong and it just gives me such a rush and I love it. <laughs> I've always been sporty ever since I was young, so it's kind of cool to reignite that flame. Here's my, um, what they're called, seal? Is it a seal? Walrus. Walrus, that's it. Here's my little walrus. Yeah. <laughs> let's come on, come on, let's go walrus. Let's come on, let's come, come let's on. Come let's, on. Let's, let's come on, come on. Ow. Right, so we're nearly there, I'm excited. I put all this stuff on and it's actually kind of warm. It's windy. I'm really excited, I don't know why. This makes me giddy. A few moments later. Okay, oh my God, I can't believe that was there. It's literally room after room after room of weights. They've got a whole room for upper body, a whole room for lower body. Yeah. Like they've got a ladies only gym. They have a whole room for cardio. It's like a proper like, I don't know, it feels like a proper like basement gym with like these really like these <laughs> yeah, equipment. Yeah, the lowest, the lowest floors where all these like huge men were just yeah. bench pressing. Yeah, and these like really old machines, but like they look so... Yeah, yeah, like in like the 70s. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely going to be joining that gym. Yeah. I can actually see why people would like this gym as well, the gym I go to. Now, because it's more, you know, it's really nice in there. And it's got nice like toilets and, you know, it's kind of Sorry. modern and new and everything's kind of... You know? I know. But this one's more of like a dingy, proper get stuck in gym, which I want. So that makes me excited. The testosterone though looked a bit intimidating. You walk in and just these guys down there. They all like looked at And they all just look up like, what are you doing in yeah. there? Oh. I think 
part of the thing with like weightlifting if, if you're a girl is to get over that stigma and learn that men don't care like they literally don't care and I think more and more now it's becoming more normal for women to weight train I don't think I will care I'll get I'll just get over it <laughs> you know maybe for the first few times I'll be a bit like Ugh! and then you just yeah, I'll just get over it no one really cares in a gym no. no not at all there were women in there too so they've got women's they've got women's room <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited so Alex just took us on a little adventure to find a secret way home. Oh yeah. I don't think it's any quicker. It's not meant to be quicker. There's no quicker way to get home, but it was, I don't know. I prefer the other way because you can walk along the sea. It's creepy because I'm in an alleyway. I wouldn't want to do this by myself. <laughs> Hello. So I'm here in the bathroom. I promised you I would at least try and have a go at the tushy. So I've been at it for about an hour and a half. Sorry, I'll stop doing that. I've been at it for about an hour and a half. I'm definitely no expert on DIY or plumbing or anything. And I've learned a few things today through YouTube and just uh, trial and error <laughs> that I didn't really know about toilets and stuff. The problem I've run into is if you've ever if you've ever shown the toilet in the vlog before, it's this is where we're having the uh, the cabinets come out because it's you can kind of see the wet patch on the wall. Even though we keep the window open and dehumidifier on all day, it's still wet and we don't really know what's up with that. But that's been taken out because they're putting a new one in because it kind of got mouldy and a bit rotten. This is what's underneath this part of the cabinet and it's built like a, a flat pack thing so I had to take the top off this may be very boring but you see this you had to unscrew it so I could pull this off but unfortunately it seems to have been built in a very bizarre way this toilet it's like they put this cabinet in the cabinet must have had to go in first and the toilet was pushed in and connected up and then it's all been sealed along the floor and at the back so there's no way you can really get in or do anything it's a very bizarre build and it's been very annoying yeah it's pretty grim by the way i didn't mention that yeah quite dirty i might have to give it a wipe before we put it all back on basically what i have to get to is that part up here to unscrew that and then fit this adapter on so the water goes up normally to the toilet but also some can come out it's kind of difficult with one hand plops in there and then it comes out and connects to this tushy here. A slight design flaw of this is that you can't pick which side it goes on. So of course this hose does not fit. It does not reach the tushy. Even if I did it like this, which obviously I can't. So we're gonna have to get some kind of longer hose or ask the landlady if we can maybe, I don't know, cause there's a hole in there for the toilet flusher. Maybe if we put a hole here, like a small hole for the hose to come through, but they may not like that because when we leave we're going to take the tushy with us and there'll just be a small hole so yeah i hope that wasn't too boring me just describing it but that's the problem i've been dealing with all this afternoon which is annoying because just when i thought i'd cracked it and i'd managed to take my hand through to the back of the toilet i realized this wasn't long enough and in all of the how-to videos it's because it's an american company i think all the how-to videos all of the plumbing is not on this side, it's on this side, and obviously there's no giant cabinet around it, so it's meant to be very easy, and it should be easy, but because of our toilet situation, our special toilet, it's not. What follows is a brief construction montage. I crashed and burned this afternoon. Chat into the vlog. I crashed and burned. I think it's the amount of exercise I'm doing. It's just a shock to my system. Going to the gym and lifting weights and also the amount I've been working. I've been trying to do a lot of work to sort of just, there's just a lot going on when you have your own, when you've got your own business. It's just a lot. It's easy to just work all the time. And um, I'm looking forward to the weekend off for Alex's birthday. So I had like a lie down. I was gonna edit my vlog, my video for the, Friday and then I was just like so tired. I was like, Alex, I need to lie down. So I went and lay down whilst he went to the shops to get some dinner. It was really nice. I think I just needed to lie down for a bit. And now uh, we are having some dinner. Oh, I will show you. We are having some Tesco burgers. So the Tesco burgers are in the oven with some sweet potatoes. And then I've just made this beautiful salad, which if you're interested, has some little, I think, baby gem lettuce, rocket, cucumber, spring onion, some mixed seeds, I think sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds, sun-dried tomato, and then a dressing of 
lime, tahini, and soy sauce. Absolutely delightful. Oh, and cucumber. Did I say cucumber? And if you want to rock it is, it's arugula. And then Alex just made some hummus. Where did I put the hummus? I put it in the fridge. So there's some hummus there. And that's the sweet potato he peeled and then didn't eat, end up using. And the good thing about the Tesco burgers is they are in cardboard, so they don't have any plastic. So they're a really great vegan burger and they taste so good. Don't they taste so good? Oh, they do. This meal is exactly the meal that I used to have all the time when I lived with my sister and my one of my best friends in Newquay because they weren't vegan or vegetarian, but we ate this every single week. Sweet potatoes, those Mexican bean burgers, and a salad, and it was like our favorite meal. It just reminds me of them every time I make it. So yeah, we're gonna have this, and then I'm gonna have an early night. You feeling tired? I'm ready to party. I got, uh, oh, oh yes. I don't understand this. Because I said to Alex, because he doesn't drink very often, I said, if you don't drink often, surely you should want some really nice beer really when wanted, you do. I wanted to try their beer door, their sort of cheapest lager, but I couldn't find anywhere if it was vegan or not, and it wasn't... Oh my god, beer door, I remember that. Yeah, it, it was so cheap, and it wasn't under their filters on the website under vegan, but that was, so I thought, how bad can it be? Why don't I, I try mean, it's it? going to give you a headache the next day. It was like £2, but also, it, they didn't scan it properly, so it was free, so... <laughs> free beer. <laughs> I've also already had dinner. I've had porridge and then a lunch because we were recipe tasting and then I had, uh, we were recipe making. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so tired. And then I had another recipe and then I was really hungry at like five so I finished off that. So I've literally had part dinner part one and this is going to be dinner yeah. part two. It's been a long day. It's been Isn't a tiring it? day. And then you had issues with the, uh, uh, what's it called? With YouTube. Yes. YouTube was weird earlier. <sighs> and Alex and I were having like a full on like discussion about everything this morning, which was really exhausting to talk about for so long. And that's been one of those days. I think we're going to leave the vlog here. Who am I? Huh? Oh, I'm so sorry. I know I fiddle with my hair so much. I think it's like a nervous thing. When I talk, I, I see myself and I start fiddling with my hair. By the way, I filmed that appropriate put a time lapse in before. It took me less than three minutes to put everything back together in the toilet. Aww. It took me like an hour, hour and a half to figure it all out. That's so annoying that it didn't work. Has anyone used one? Anyone got any tips? All we want is to spray water up our bums. It's, it, we really wanted to reduce our amount of toilet yeah. roll. We'll get there eventually. I just think it will, we'll figure it out soon. Yeah. I've do, I think I've done the hard work. I know what I need to do. We'll see you in the next vlog. Yeah. But Alex's but birthday. It's my birthday, so we won't see you until next week. Start of next week. Yeah. But it will be birthday. A birthday. Birthday extravaganza. Yeah. <laughs> Good night. Or morning. Or morning. Or afternoon. Or afternoon. Or evening. See you later. See you later.